Hi, I'm Christian Brune, Senior Mission Analyst at Hawkeye 360. Welcome to Hawkeye 101. In this episode, we'll examine the tactical advantage of fusing commercial RF signal data with other forms of intelligence to support increasingly complex mission environments. For analysts, a single source of data is often unable to provide the answers they need. Remote stretches of ocean, dense terrain, interferences, misinformation, and general gaps in data can all represent major challenges when attempting to derive intelligence assessments. And since adversaries are continually getting better at understanding and evading the typical sources of intelligence, it's more critical than ever for analysts to bolster their approach with effective multi-int data fusion. Depending on the situation, analysts leverage a wide range of intelligent sources. This includes open source data or social media, as well as ground and air sensors. Increasingly, space-based imagery, radar, and RF collection are being utilized. Additionally, analysts can use terrestrial or aerial assets once the area of interest is better understood. Widely shareable RF geolocations and ELINT data can make a major difference in deriving unseen mission insights. Enabling allocation to other modalities, such as coastal radars, marine patrol aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles, saving time and resources. We've learned RF data typically plays two primary roles in the multi-int domain. The first role is to provide a key initial insight that allows the analyst to zero in further with other sources of intelligence for investigation. In the process of tipping Q, RF data acts as the tip, which can then cue other space-based modalities or terrestrial assets to collect additional intelligence, depending on the situation. Let me give you an example. Imagine a high-security national border with stretches of heavily monitored activity as well as large, unmonitored remote areas. Suddenly, an RF-sensing satellite picks up signal data in a location that is usually inactive. The observation of RF emissions is a reliable indicator of human activity. If communication is happening or there is active equipment, RF signals are likely present. Once an analyst is alerted to this activity, he or she can use their knowledge of the operational area to decide on a course of action. The analyst could source satellite imagery of the geographic area and search open source data that they may shed further light on the situation. He or she could even dispatch a surveillance aircraft or patrol to the location of the emission. The combined data set could lead to an important discovery that might have otherwise gone undetected. In this scenario, RF data is used to pinpoint anomalous activity in a remote area that isn't cost effective or efficient to monitor by other means. Hawkeye 360 satellites are best suited for this task because they can monitor hundreds of millions of square kilometers daily. The other primary way that RF is used for multi-ant data fusion is to verify signal geolocation or provide contextual information for an area or asset of interest where activity is already suspected. In this scenario, existing insights cue an RF collection. For example, in many parts of the world, there are known vessels of interest engaged in illicit activities that prove difficult to detect. These ships could be involved in illegal fishing, smuggling, trafficking, or setting up footprints on islands that are internationally contested. These situations are notoriously hard to monitor, given the ocean's vast expanse and the unreliability of AIS signal data. Even ships wishing to remain undetected will need to utilize navigational radar or communication equipment to operate effectively, which means they are emitting more signals than just AIS alone. In this situation, an analyst can leverage Hawkeye 360's RF signals to fill in the gaps of their search and gain a more comprehensive assessment of vessel positions. Hawkeye 360's algorithms can detect the presence of ships in exclusive economic zones confirming assumptions and directing investigative efforts to exact locations. Commercially available RF is a fairly new addition to the world of geospatial intelligence. Hawkeye 360 is leading the way to deliver insights previously available only in classified environments. RF patterns are full of insight and can be greatly enhanced through fusion with imagery, video, or open source intelligence. The ability to read the data and combine with other forms of intelligence will make an analyst indispensable. In many past cases, the classified and disparate nature of RF data 
has made it very challenging for analysts to develop a complete multi-int picture at the commercial level. Hawkeye 360's RF data is unclassified. That means it's readily accessible to analysts, shareable with mission partners, and combinable with other data sources. Today, analysts need a multi-int platform at the core of their operations. They need to regularly fuse data sources, study the outcomes, and ideally, to refine or automate their workflows and processes. Hawkeye 360 provides geolocation data based on a wide range of RF signals. Today, we are working with analysts around the world to identify their mission needs, assess their existing multi-ant data sources and analytic processes, and procure targeted RF signal data. We explore our customers' requirements, often embedding side-by-side -side within their team to ensure our satellite sensors are meeting their specific needs. Since the data itself is already processed into geolocations and easy to understand metadata, workflow incorporation is easy for analysts who may not be experts in analyzing raw signal data. The data is also platform agnostic and can be plugged into existing GIS systems, data fusion platforms, or provided via mission space, our own intuitive software as a service platform. The more an analyst layers pre-existing analytics with RF data gathering capabilities, the more they can identify critical activity and point resources in the right direction.